Well, uh, hello, everyone. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Welcome to the Modern Bay Aquarium live here on uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. <laughs> Where are uh, we? Where are we? What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. It's happening. It's working. <laughs> it's happening. It's it's things are going okay. Uh, we've got we even have the closed captions going okay. I hear I hear an echo of my voice. Pat, do you have something on? Do I have something on? Oh gosh. I don't have I don't have an echo myself, so there's a chance you may have it oh, potentially no. from from YouTube stream or something. Okay. But yeah, I we think don't hear that's... the echo. <laughs> I think it's okay now. Sure. That's... Sure. <laughs> okay. We got a little bit of a robot pat today. Uh, we don't know what's going on with that, but we're here. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Monterey Bay Aquarium Live here on Twitch and YouTube. My name is Emily. I am part of the social media team here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Um, I am the one who is controlling things over on our end uh, and also the one who you can see forgot to switch over to um, the game stream uh, <laughs> over there. There you go. Now you can see the Abzu screen. Hey. Uh, we just had the stream starting soon. Now is the official beginning of, of yes. the stream. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope that everyone's Friday is going well. Um, today I am joined by, as always, my coworker, my colleague, my buddy, my pal, um, our terrible boy, Pat from across the bay. Hey, Patrick, how's it going? Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Am I showing up on screen? You you are. I can see. You can see the, the little green see bubble your... going over there. Look at us go. Awesome. <laughs> we are pro gamers. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, as you were saying there, Emily, I hope everything is going well for you out there. Uh, my name is Pat. I'm your terrible boy, and I'm going to be backseat gaming here watching uh, Emily uh, continue our amazing run through here of abzu uh for those of you who are new to the channel new to the stream you will know that we are a couple of marine biologists that play games poorly very slowly while talking excessively about the really cool critters and uh science that uh, all of these amazing game designers have put into the game so if any of you are looking for uh pro strats uh, tips and tricks a speed run or anything like that um we're we're gonna be speed running you through the amazing ocean world um uh oh we got robot boy pat it, you were <laughs> a little bit of a robot there just a second ago but it, it's 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 studied out uh we think no it might worries. be we think it might be uh, pat's uh, internet connection is just being finicky today um, being a little sloppy it's okay everybody but yeah. um thank you so much for uh for being there um i appreciate everybody tuning in uh we've got yeah a lot of a lot of great folks here in the chat this is awesome exactly if pat's robo voice gets too bad uh we might we might turn him down and that might just be you and me chat hanging out for a little bit today but uh robo pat uh hopefully Hopefully it will be okay today, um, Pat. It's yeah. been it's been a hot second since since we were gaming here. Um, it has, yes. Yeah, we were running into some tech troubles, and then and Pat and I were out for a little while, so we're back. It's been like two weeks, but hopefully we will uh, we will have all of the good content here for you. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out with us this Friday afternoon. It's gonna be a Friday afternoon stream, so you know. Keeping it loosey goosey here with us as as usual. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, certainly. Um, yeah, try to keep it loose. Try to keep it fun. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, you folks over there on uh, YouTube, thanks for being there, everybody. Uh, we got lots of great, uh, lots of great folks there in the chat. Thanks for being there. Um, and yeah, we do hope to welcome you back to the aquarium uh, soon. For those of you who are wondering if and when we will reopen, yes, we will at some point, but we do not know that yet am i robot voicing a, a uh, little bit Emily? a little bit little it comes it comes and goes um let's let yeah. uh let me ask you what happens if i do this is that better can you hear me i mean any I can, better i can hear you you sound okay, okay right now yeah Has it changed anything you sound a little bit quieter but i can bump you up i sound a little bit quieter i'm no longer using my other microphone yeah well you think that that works? 
it might work. This might have to be it for today until we figure out what's going on. Well, golly gee willikers. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, one thing I did want to mention over on Twitch is that we're trying out um, this new closed caption overlay for the stream. Um, it's our first time using it with uh, Pat and I talking, so it might get a little chaotic over there uh but it, it does have the functionality if if uh you need to turn it off oh is siri talking to you pat is this helping at all no that made it worse that made it so much worse <laughs> okay never mind okay okay We're i'm done trying stuff emily oh gosh now you're real loud okay i'll turn you down are you there can I'm, you hear me i'm here can you hear me Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, Pat! Oh no! Oh no! What happened? I'm, I'm sorry, so everybody. Sorry, what happened? everyone. Oh gosh, I didn't get the warning out in time for everybody. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, the, everybody can hear both of us, but now Pat can't hear me. Is everything okay? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Oh no. Okay, well, while I try and get Pat back on Discord, <laughs> um, everyone can drop in the chat. Tell me how your day is going. What's uh, what's up, everybody? How's your Friday? Um, if you have a positive moment that you want to share, uh, you can talk about it. Tell me, tell me all about. It. Tell me all about what's happening. Um, let's multitask here. All right, we are gonna. Okay, I can see that Pat left Discord. He's reconnecting his Discord. He's still not answering me. I can hear you now. Can, can you, you hear, me, hear now? me? I'm sorry, everybody. No, oh, it's okay. I have no idea oh, what just happened. Thank goodness. Whew. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Pre everyone. Press <laughs> play, get some Emily. Oh, Let's get in the Let's chat. Let's any of this ever happened. <laughs> yeah, just get some oh, boys in the chat for, for Friday streams. Goodness gracious. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, this is going to be an adventure. That's for sure. <laughs> I tried something and I, I guess I exploded everybody's <laughs> eardrums. I'm so sorry. <laughs> OBS was just all red on the, uh, on the decibels. It was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Robo Pat did it. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was Robo Pat. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, we're going to continue on with our, our game. Uh, last we left <sighs> off. Um, I'm going to turn Pat down just a little bit just because when Robo Pat comes on. You can just turn me off. I'm just going to go to bed. I think it's, it's, it's little, been enough. A little noise. It's been a week. It's It's been a minute, my friends, my fronds. Um, but last we left off, we were in this amazing deep sea cave. We were hanging out with some hydrothermal vents. We were hanging out with yeah. some giant tube worms and some Pompeii worms and, and all kinds of fun little frayons down here. Some sperm whales. We had a giant squid here, yeah. too. Um, so that was a, a fun, fun time. Um, in case you missed it earlier this week, um, we put out a video with our colleagues over at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute all about hydrothermal vents, too. So you can go check that out um, here from one of our our uh, good friends, our colleague uh, Shannon Johnson uh, over there who studies hydrothermal vent communities. Um, she can tell you all about the amazing animals. And she has and the stuff. best Twitter handle She's of all time. <laughs> punk rock snails. Punk rock snails. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So good. Um Emily, I don't I don't know if we need to do um a quick uh maybe a restart for the replay for the VOD. What you mean? What do you want me to do? Uh, I don't know. Do I, I was just thinking like because I destroyed everybody's uh oh. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> we start uh, over here. I figure, <clears throat> I figure maybe we we restart with like a a welcome uh, an intro yeah. and we jump into the yeah. game that way if people <laughs> are watching the VOD before. we can just kind of say trim the first hey, 15 chaotic. minutes into this program that's when you want to start <laughs> that's when you hey, want to that's start when i was ready video. okay yeah. i didn't say i was going to be ready at yeah. 3 <laughs> all right yeah we just say the stream is going to start at 3 doesn't mean that it's uh, going to be good at 3 all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> well Hello again, everyone. 
and welcome to the Mario Bay Aquarium again live here on Twitch and YouTube. My name is Emily. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm part of the social media team here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Joined, as always, by my good friend, my buddy, my colleague, my pal, our terrible boy, Patrick, who is going to be part Pat, part Robo Pat today. Because Hello, everybody. It is me, it. potentially Pat, potentially Robo Pat at the same time. Oh, man. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Pat, right when you <laughs> said Pat? right when you said Robo Pat, you turned into Robo Pat. So, oh my goodness, you know, I'm wondering. I've been uh, taking my USB. Does this help? I've been taking my USB um, mixer over to the aquarium. You may have gotten to see some of our uh, cool live streams that we've done Thank recently uh, with California State Parks, and so I brought um, I brought uh, my USB audio mixer over to the aquarium. So hopefully I didn't get any seawater in it, but that oh, could have no. happened. Um, but welcome everybody to this uh, fifth installment of our slow playthrough of Abzu. Emily is the one on the controller. Hello. I am at my house many miles away, staring at the game, same as all of you. And it's gonna be a whole lot of fun to see what we see. But um, as you were, uh, as you were mentioning there, Emily, we just released uh, earlier this week, an amazing video from uh, our colleagues at Mbari all about deep sea hydrothermal vent communities. Um, so I believe you mentioned that right before the yeah. restart here. But uh, but yeah, we are currently in game in that same habitat that we just released that video about. So go take a look at it. Uh, oh, and I think I just heard Robo Pat there. In yeah, the yeah, you got a little Robo Pat e. That's okay. We forgive okay. you. We love Robo Pat anyway. Our terrible oh, thanks, boy. Everybody. Our <laughs> terrible boy. All right. Well. All right. Should we continue, Pat? Yeah, we were, you know, we let's were get just going. about. Yeah, we were just about to go through this portal the last time we left off here. Yeah, for those Let's of you, yeah, there. who were just tuning in um, from previous streams, uh, we've been spending a lot of time in individual rooms here. So kind of excited to see what happens here next. We might spend the rest of the stream here in that same spot. Going down into the portal. E. We had some dramatic moments last time with our our sharky friend. So we gotta we gotta figure out what's going on here. Our sharky friend was like electrocuted and then not electrocuted and oh, no. she swam away and Yeah, I remember that. Now we're in this serene little area before we. There we go. Whee. This is. Sorry, I just can't get over the fact that I sound like a robot to everybody here. So I'm just going to have to adjust sorry. to this new this sorry. new person. No, you know, it's it's all zeros and ones coming from this boy today. <laughs> all right. what What do we have here? Giant oh, squid. Oh, giant squid friends. Yes. That's right. Last stream we had the giant squid. That was so cool. Um, giant squid Architeuthis. Um, uh, oh, it might be the cable connection when mm -hmm. I move. That's a good oh. point. That's a good point, Deb. All right. Maybe don't if move you just Pat. don't move. Let's be very, okay. That's a very hard thing to ask Pat to do is to ask yeah, him to not on. talk and to it's not move. <laughs> This goes against my very nature. And you know what's always moving <laughs> is the kelp in this game here as That's we keep true. going through so many different zones, different colors of kelp. I, you know, you could call Abzu the Technicolor Kelp Forest Show because um, we've had quite the quite the different specimens there. Oh, I think I just heard Robo Pat again. Yeah, you're a Robo Pat again, so I don't know if oh, it's the moving or gracious. not. But yeah, we do have the kelp that's always moving. We've had the <laughs> Technicolor kelp, like you said, Pat, there. Um, all different shades uh, in game, uh, which is not how you would see it out there in the wild. But you know, we'll we'll let it we'll let it slide here. Um, but the one thing that they they do have correct is that it's always swaying, it's always moving here, and that's how it's getting its nutrients. So, um, you know, oftentimes uh, you Hello, might Emily? hear, "Hi, Pat, can you hear me?" Oh no. Well, I'm just gonna keep on talking about kelp, I guess. Um, so oftentimes when, um, 
we talk about kelp sometimes people say like a kelp plant which is technically not true it is an algae not a plant um and unlike plants it doesn't have a root system at the bottom uh, where it's drawing nutrients from uh, instead down at the bottom here would be something called a hold fast and the hold fast is what would be holding it to the sea floor it needs some kind of rock some kind of type of hard substrate to grab onto there uh, in order to stay in one spot it's like a giant anchor for the kelp um, and therefore an anchor for other animals who live on the kelp or on top of the kelp like sea otters sea otters will wrap themselves up on the top of the kelp and use it just like an anchor to keep them in one place so that they don't drift away when they sleep um, just like us, we don't like to wake up like three miles down the road inside of a Target uh, after uh, we go to bed. Uh, Although it does others. happen. <laughs> it does happen. More yes. frequently Sometimes. than we like to admit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but the kelp here, uh, it's using that hold fast to stay in one spot. The sea otters are using that same thing to stay in one spot when they're sleeping. Um, kelp instead gets nutrients uh, through the blades so it looked like leaves on a kelp uh, instead of you know a trunk of a tree or the stem of a plant um, kelp has something called a stipe that's that long tall piece there in the center uh, and then blades that come off of it unlike leaves it's blades instead and uh, they're absorbing nutrients through those blades so they're like little sponges and they're just slurping up all those good nutrients around it swaying back and forth means that you're constantly accessing new seawater and therefore new nutrients around you and so you're able to grow if you stay just in one place and soak up everything that's around you um, you're not going to be able to get all the nutrients that you need. How's it going That's over there, right. Pat? <laughs> I don't know. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Every now and then okay. there's a little bit of, of a fuzz in the back, but we'll see if this is better. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, uh, in any case, everybody, uh, exactly what you're saying there, Emily, <laughs> with, the, with the giant kelp there. And one of the really cool things, too, about um, the giant kelp blades as the surge goes over them, uh, goes over the... Uh, kelp blades is that the kelp can actually adjust the physical structure of each blade depending on um, depending on how much surge and how much wave action the kelp has to mm -hmm. deal with because at a certain point and there's the trooper icon <laughs> um, you were uh, at some point if you're a giant kelp you know you want some you want some friction Am I just a robot? Oh my goodness! You, you just turned into a robot again. Yeah. I keep hearing that. I might see about switching over to a, a slightly different USB input here. Um, but in any case, the um, uh, if there's not a lot of water motion, then the kelp needs extra friction on it to be able to turn those yeah. blades over. And so when there's an environment with not a lot of water motion, the kelp blade will have very deep grooves on it that will help turn yeah. over the kelp blade and also create little micro eddies that allow for there to be extra mo motion to bring in micronutrients into the kelp blade. But if there's too much surge, if there's too much uh, water motion, you can create too much friction and actually rip yourself out, rip the plant off the bottom. And so in areas that are more wave swept, you'll tend to notice that the kelp has much smoother blades, uh, not the deep ridges. So if you come to the aquarium, you'll notice that our uh, kelp blades are very deeply rigid um, with ridges on them. Uh, because we have low water motion and flow compared to what you might have, uh, say, in Carmel or somewhere else that's a little bit more open ocean. So pretty, pretty cool that the uh, kelp can change like that. Yeah, uh, we just had a great comment over there on uh, Twitch from Will. I'm um, probably going to mess this up. Will Will, Viv Will Vivo books? Um, <laughs> Trooper is is angry with me for my pronunciation there but um asking that you know is seaweed a type of kelp and close you have to flip those too so all kelp is seaweed but not all seaweed is kelp so you can have other different types of seaweeds um, that are not necessarily kelps but all kelp is a seaweed so the kind of kelp that we're looking at here is most likely um they're trying to replicate uh, macrocystis pyrifera giant giant kelp um 
but you have other different types of kelp. You know, we've talked about bull kelp in the past, um, Nereocystis. That's my favorite genus name. It means mermaid's bladder. Um, so if you take anything away from the stream with you today, Nereocystis, mermaid's bladder kelp out there. Uh, more often it's called bulls, bull kelp um, because it looks like a big bull whip on the bottom. It has just one long, big stipe uh, and one big, huge nematocyst. That's that air filled bladder up there at the top. Um, and then the, the blades coming off of that one nematocyst there. Um, but, you know, that is a type of seaweed as well. But other types of seaweed that you have out there are not necessarily kelp. So great question there. Uh, what might uh, be called a seaweed that isn't a seaweed? That's a great question, Fiore. Um, there are flowering plants in the ocean. Um, that are not seaweeds, but you might look at them because they're underneath the ocean. They're underneath the sea. You're like, oh, that's obviously a seaweed. Um, but um, different types of surf grass out there, uh, those are actually flowering plants. So you do get real plants that are in the ocean um, that are not seaweeds. Great question. Um, you also have other things that, you know, a lot of people look at them and they're like, oh, that's just algae growing on, on it when it's really like a bacterial mat or or you know things like that but um but if you're talking about like oh that looks like a seaweed a plant uh out there in the ocean um yeah some surf grasses they are they are actually they have little flowers and everything so great question there um yes absolutely i'm just so concerned about becoming robo <laughs> i was gonna say you're so quiet and it makes me sad <laughs> I'm very sad. I, I think I think there's something wrong with my uh, USB um, oh, my USB C geez. connection that could be due to salt water. But you know what? That's just oh, what happens. No. Emily, let's move right along and see if we can't find Robo Pat some uh, some other <laughs> other places to mess up. But okay. um, <laughs> this is a beautiful room uh, to this the game designers is, out there. It's so pretty, seeing like the sperm whales in the backdrop and. And the squids over there. So pretty. Yeah, really cool. Those giant squid are really something else. Um, oh, my goodness. The opas. The hatchet fish. I don't know where I'm supposed to go in the game right now either. So we're just <laughs> there might be, swimming. There might be one of those. Uh, there might be one of those. Um, Oh, the little biodiversity. Yeah, little bi diversity things. Hmm. Or was I supposed to swim through the door? Uh, I think we're meant to swim through the door eventually here. Okay. That that probably makes more sense. But is there a biodiversity doodad? We're gonna look. I'm not sure. No, this that's... would be a great time for Chad if they wanted to uh, weigh in and let us know. Okay. Now that is okay. That's the room that we came from. So we we did the okay. biodiversity doodads over there. Okay. Okay. I know where we are. I know what's happening. It's, <laughs> it's, it's been a minute. Um, Pat, while we're swimming here, a couple of things for next week for people. Um, one is that I have been working on a uh, spoopified Halloween -y auto autumnal version of uh, Monterey Bay Island. Uh, in Animal Crossing, so I was thinking that we might do a little tour of that next week. Um, and then you and I are trying to plan a spoopy stream for the Friday before Halloween. So uh, we are, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, so That'd we're, we're yeah. Hopefully things will pan out with that. Um, oh man, we're just gonna go past all of these death triangles here. Yeah, let's just death pyramids. You got this. You got this, Emily. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No, I'm too close to that one. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna go over here. Just gonna you got stay. Got some bat ray friends. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. No. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Nicely done, Emily. Zoom, 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 my you little buddy. It. Zoom. So, I mean, maybe we could bring up the fact that, uh, Why you know, you, so you folks out there may or may it not know that the that Navy. Way. Okay. I think I have to do something else before I can go in there. Sorry. So, can you hear me at all? Yeah. 
Yeah, you're okay. talking about the Navy. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just don't know at this point if I just like should just stop talking. But um, um, some of you folks out there might know that the Navy has used uh, um, dolphins and other organisms previously in training to help hunt down mines out there. So, oh man, I hear Robo Pat. Yeah, just a little Robo Pat. Um, but uh, yeah, some of you folks out there may know that um, this is uh, a tactic that has happened in a few different navies around the world to uh, utilize marine mammals to help uh, hunt for mines and other things that might be set up uh, in different waters there. So um, when I first started working at the Seymour Marine Discovery Center over at UC Santa Cruz, um, there were some dolphins there, Primo and Puka, who were retired Navy dolphins there. So um, that was part of the work that they were doing, um, studying up on that. So fortunate, unfortunately for Emily, we don't currently have that type of system uh, for you here in game. But no. I see you diving down as far deep as you can, looking for cool critters. And yeah, awesome. I was, yeah, I was trying. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right, my dude. I think you're good. Just go straight up, right into the thing. I'm gonna try to, but it like keep like I keep on trying to push my friend over there. Oh. Uh -oh. And it won't let me go inside. So I wonder if I have to like be like right in that like tractor beam of light. Oh, potentially. Maybe. That looks spooky. Hmm. What about over here? Well, you know, nope, it still won't let me turn that way. Okay. Okay. I am clearly missing something. We're just gonna hang out here for a second. No, we'll just we'll just hang out. If anyone happens to know what we should be doing to move on to the next biodiversity <laughs> hotspot, let us know. Because from my audio not working and us not playing the game too much, we could use some help. No, okay. Then let me swim in there. Oh, do I just have to like set off every single one of them? Oh. Yeah, I think I just have to get electrocuted by every single one of them. No. Yeah. That can't be. Yeah. Really? Well, because, like, look, that one up top there is now. Is is this because we don't have any robot friends? Oh. Oh, no. You don't want to get. You don't want to get hit by every single one of them. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Uh, well, we're going to chat. It seems like there's other things we can maybe do before that. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like we can just go straight in. Is that the case? Can I go in now? Okay, maybe I didn't just have to be in that tractor beam of light. Okay. Okay. Well, we tried. I was like, there were a lot of death pyramids there. I didn't want to yes. have to get shocked by every single one. We did it. We did it, team. We did it. We did it. <laughs> hey, Emily, in uh, in our OBS setup, is my audio in there twice, potentially? It's not. It's just okay. coming in. Yeah, just coming in through the, the Yamaha. Yeah. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep talking. Robo, pa Robo Pat be damned. <laughs> like a beaver. <laughs> We're just going to go for it. You're sticking with it like a beaver. Sticking with it. Yep. Yeah, barking up the wrong tree, trying to not talk over here. Let's just keep going. You got this, Emily. Oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> it's not too, too bad. Oh, no. Oh, what's happening here? Hey, thanks, uh, Will Vivo Books over there on chat. Yes, going voting right now, no matter where you are in the world. Never a bad idea to vote. Yes, um, great great plan everybody if you have not voted yet um the deadline for registration was the 19th here in california but uh if you are registered to vote in the state or anywhere where you happen to be tuning in uh, appreciate your vote there um get involved uh, we've got more information on our website monterebayaquarium.org if you want to hmm. know how you can help vote the ocean yes nice <laughs> we don't mind robo pat please keep punning okay <laughs> Thank you for your support, Chad. I was just over here kind of just sad in my corner, <laughs> wondering why it wasn't working. Uh, 
Well, uh, great job, Emily, navigating this particular part. I vaguely remember this part from the speed run. And, uh, I'm glad that you do. I don't remember this part at all. Highly impressive <laughs> um, space. Yeah, I feel like all the game developers at some point. Oh, who's that? Who are, who are those snakes? Gulper eels? Who's that? They're I can't some tell. kind of robot. Oh, some kind of robot. Friend. Oh, they're okay. It's a robot. Triangle robot friends. This is always the fun part where once we get to actual gameplay, Emily, we both don't quite know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's we're definitely biologists that need some biology, uh, so um, it'll be coming up here pretty soon. But for the moment, there's some lore here uh, of Abzu that you'll probably want to explore. <laughs> Those are cool, cool critters. Cool little robot eels. Are, you gonna Are they lead? guiding you around? Are they too? guiding me? Are you showing me the way, robot friends? Am I supposed to go in here? Did I come from here? Am I just going backwards? Who's to say? No, this is a new <laughs> spot. No, you're you're doing good. Um. Oh, question on the chat by Wilderness Gay. Do mines and unexploded ordnance hamper ocean research often? Um. I don't know if it hampers ocean research specifically, but it is a definite hazard in oh. a lot of different parts of the world. Oh, beans. Emily? Oh, beans. Oh, Emily. Oh, beans. Ooh, we need some pro gamer moves here. Oh, beans. This is not where I want to start five minutes <laughs> into the stream of actually uh, swimming you around. This. You got this. Okay, if I dive down, maybe? There's a few less down there for sure. No, no, oh, no, 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 goodness. no, 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 oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness, Emily, you okay. got this. Okay, dive, 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 dive. Let's get some GGs in the chat. No. Let's get some support. Little thing, why are you making me go that way? Okay, 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 oh, okay, okay, I'll swim up. I can't swim down, I'll swim up. That's a lot of pyramids. It's a Pythagorean nightmare. <laughs> Oh, why are you bringing me in the middle of all of them? Okay, friends. We're just going to... No, 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 I'm no, I'm going to keep no, trying to have no, some no, triangle no, puns no, while no, you go no, through no, this. No, no. Uh, okay, Emily. cool, 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 cool. Because I'm feeling isosillies. Oh, uh, no. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep on getting electrocuted here. I'm very hypotenamused by your current plight. Oh, beans. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got nothing, Emily. Have fun. <laughs> What's the point then, Patrick? I don't know. It seems it. Okay. You should try to stay okay. at least equilateral. To... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Goodness gracious. Come on. I can see the light. I can see the light. No, it's just the same the one. Light, the, the light same of the exploding one just pyramid right there next to you. I saw that one too. <laughs> you got on, this, Emily. Buddy. Come <laughs> you got on. This. Why am I swimming so slow? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Well, you just got exploded a few times. Like, be kind That's to yourself. true. <laughs> <laughs> it was truly shocking, Pat. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. I made it to this side. Oh. All right, my friend. Swim in there. Come on. Why won't you swim in there? <laughs> just get to safety. There we go. Okay. Yay. Nice, oh. except now there's an evil one. <gasps> Sharky, evil no. Shark Sharky, friend, no. get out of here. No. Shark friend, no. Oh, <gasps> oh beans, we're both electrocuted now. Oh, no. Uh, shark friend, no. Shark friend, no. Oh, my goodness. Potentially the saddest stream we've ever done there here, Emily. Oh, no. F's in the chat, pay respect to our shark friend. Well, this got dark. This oh, that's dark. just the loading screen. That's just the loading screen, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. It's right, right, not right. a metaphor for the pit of despair that we find ourselves in right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, oh. Come on, Robit. You can do it.
Well, we know why we didn't need an oxygen tank anymore, Pat, or a, an why air tank anymore, because we are a robot too. Whoa, we're a robot. We're a robot. Whoa. Okay. Yep, I see that now. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, you're Emily. I know that this is not how you prefer to appear on stream, but look, you're a marvel of engineering. <laughs> look at you go, engineer Emily. <laughs> oh, oh, shark friend, Sh sharky. Oh, well, uh, Emily. I mean, this makes sense that the shark is having a hard time because uh, great white sharks are known as obligate ram ventilators meaning that they need to keep swimming to be able to breathe so besides being exploded by a pyramid this would definitely be a hard time for any great white shark finding themselves lying down on the sea floor that's true i feel like uh the... oh! Oh! But of all the issues facing great white sharks in the wild, being exploded by ordnance is the least of their worries. There's more concerns with them related to overfishing, bycatch, and uh, and habitat destruction. So for you folks out there looking to vote, help vote save the ocean. Uh, don't worry about killer death uh, pyramids. Um, that's not really what's going on out there in the wild, but sharks do need our help. I don't know if I was able to spin that into anything remotely productive, but that's Emily. It's a positive spin on a very tragic situation over it is. here. Uh, Pat. If we need another uh, yeah, little, little we can talk science about... information here, you'll notice that uh, the white eyelid yeah, is rolled back over the eyes membrane. of the shark, which they use to protect themselves when they're going after bitey prey like a seal. What? It's not like an actual eyelid, it is just a nictitating membrane. And if you it have is. cats, they have them too. <laughs> They do. So, Please hug uh, your cat right now. <laughs> pour one out for nictitating membranes. Uh, shout out. You're the real heroes. Um, <laughs> also, this is a female shark. You can tell by her lack of claspers. Yeah. So not to worry. Uh, a shark of this size has extremely thick skin because male great whites to mate need to bite down onto the female. So they have very, very thick skin. Uh, so I'm sure that she'll be able to recover, at least metaphorically. Um, from this, but uh, Emily, <laughs> let's maybe swim on. Swim away. Swim away. <laughs> uh, she's become a delicious <laughs> meal for hagfish and uh, sea pigs and other <laughs> other scavengers that we talked about before. She'll be um, molecularly upgraded or downgraded, whatever your preference is, to uh, sea isopods and hagfish, etc. Oh boy, that's tough. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. The surface. Listen. Uh, why is there a lily pad? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good question, Pat. You know, for an air breathing mammal, that's one of the most dangerous uh, plants to sit under because if you sit under it for more than 20 minutes, it'll probably kill you. Get it? That was something my grandpa used to say. Who are these squid friends? It's a good question. Let's go see. Are they emotional support squid friends? Should we go talk to them, see what they're doing? Oh, who's this? Ooh. Whoa, what is that? Hello, buddy. It's, uh, I don't know. These are supposed to be little fossil friends. Yeah, look. fossil Cephy friends? Yeah. Huh. That's going to be a cool. little fossil Ceph. And there's a little trilobite over there, too. Oh, we got some ancient buds. Because we've. We have to go back that far to find hope again <laughs> from what just happened. No. no. Hello. Look at all those extinct, little buddies. Extinct cephalopod mollusk friend. One of the 10 plus thousand extinct types of shelled cephalopod. Yeah. Horseshoe crab still hanging out here, though. Yeah, represent. Represent I've been here horseshoe this whole time. crab. Look at all these fun fossil Seth friends. Oh look, hey, oh, look at you. Oh, what's the name of that one? Ooh, I remember the name of that one. But yeah, this is awesome. This so so cool. uh, for those of you out there who may not know that there are very few types of shelled cephalopod still around. The cephalopods being those mollusks related to, um, or that include the squid, octopus, cuttlefish, um, and back in the day, it appears that almost all of these animals here are from the Cambrian explosion kind of yeah. situation here. 
Um, back in the day, shelled cephalopods ruled the oceans before fishes were even a thing. This is really cool. Oh this is Cambrian God, Explosion Room. France. Oh yeah. man, I forget the names of those ones. Good, yeah. For those of you folks out there interested in a in a fun time where uh, uh, organic um, organic compounds are trying to figure out just how cool they could be, uh, check out the Cambrian Explosion. There are some pretty neat body plans that get invented there, tried out for a few million years, and then abandoned <laughs> entirely. <laughs> Well, this is sweet, Emily. This is sweet. Okay. We gotta get some meat on those bones, though, kid. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can just is see the one? see is your components. This where I just parts. came from. This is just where I just came from, isn't it? Is uh, it beans? Yeah. Is that your? Is that my what? Oh, it looked like your heart, maybe, in the center. Yeah. There. It's, just a red, it's a red triangle. All right, looks like we got to go up over here with the plants. Oh, we don't get out of the water, do we? <gasps> Look Whoa. at this go. Oh. And now it's a 2D platformer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's my jam. This is so cool. You got some herp friends. We got some frog <gasps> frog friends. Yeah. Some poppy boys. Some little tortoises over there. Hey, not bad. I don't. Okay, okay. I just walk with that now. Okay, I don't have to press that button to go anywhere. Oh wow. Oh, this is so cool. Can I go right around in the grass? <gasps> I can. I don't remember this from our playthrough. Let's talk about some of our shell friends. <gasps> Hello, shell friend. Look at the ferns. Man, we are in a primordial time here in Abzu. Yeah. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Attack! <laughs> so, I, I mean, that would technically be a turtle, not a tortoise. Okay. What's the difference? Um... Well, you can see that this little friend has some webbed feet on it, and its shell is different than the way that a, a tortoise's shell would be built, uh, which would mm -hmm. be much higher. This one is much flatter. Um, tortoises are going to have much more domed shell on top there. Their scoots are more pronounced. Uh, scoots are those individual like hexes that they have on the top of their, their shell, or their carapace, if you want to get really technical there. Um, and uh yeah this little yeah it's definitely a turtle not tortoise friend but uh yeah apparently according to chat these are also some extinct organisms so we're definitely in a land before time over here <laughs> uh shout out to the ferns that have been there for a very very long time um pat did you uh, did you know Emily, that, you that's what my wi-fi network is is it's land who's that land before time land before time <laughs> nice is that a giant salamander i think it could be i think it could be yeah i love salamanders look at them go. these are alligators of the uh of the forest we actually i actually um just saw uh for the first time a pacific giant salamander in some of the old growth redwoods up on the north coast and apparently they are ruthless hunters of uh things like mice and frogs and other other things and um, when I saw it it was just hanging out uh, warming up in the sun but um, yeah salamanders not to be slept on as far as uh, land-based predators shout out to all the herps out there yeah. doing what they got to do oh it, someone is telling it's it's dip diplo collis diplo collis diplo collis the boomerang shaped skull can I see the boomerang shaped skull? Yeah, there? sorry, I can I can move the camera. See? Ta da! Oh whoa! Whoa! Hey, thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even see that from the game stream. Nice. Diplo, yeah. yeah. Pamuya, tell us about it. Tell us about Diplo Collis. That's so cool. That is really cool. 
Okay, this is your 20-minute uh, check-in on RoboPat. How's it been? It's been cutting in and out, but not as bad as before. So okay. we're, we're okay. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. I remember Diplocalus now. Look at you. Very cool. Late Permian cool. in Morocco. <gasps> nice. Cool. The fossil record doesn't have complete tales of them. That's cool. Well, we've got a few tales to tell then. Hey. hey. hey, hey. Which means I turn should... around and turn around and just show show them the screen grab from the video game. Well, look, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> look at it. Wait, we have glow in the dark salamanders up here. What? Fiore, explain yourself. <laughs> I know we have some glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. I've found those before. Jack Birds! Birds! Emily! Birds! The bird erasure is finally over. Ah, oh, finally. Animal Crossing doesn't do anything with birds. Here we go. Abzu. Okay, who's that, Emily? Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't want to walk. Wait. Uh, oh, no. Oh! oh. I am I'm diving. Uh, Aliyup! Man, I wish I, I could I just want to take it closer quick. to the birds. That's awesome. So yeah, I mean, we're land before time here. We got some dinosaurs in the sky. Yeah. I also like these lily pads that are not connected to the bottom. I don't know what you're doing for your... <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, freeform lily pad. Ah, oh, the birds are gone. Now they're back. Look at them though. I think they're just supposed to be like generic dove-ish type birds. Gotcha. That body is very round and that tail is very wide. Let's dive down. Let's see let's see if any other friends are out and about. Hello, friend. Who are you? Come back. Hello. Excuse this is me. Uh, how we make friends in real life too, Emily, is when we just like <laughs> randomly chase after people saying, Hey, be our friend. Hello? Come over here. Hello, excuse me. Oh man. Oh, we are getting we are getting deep into our an our very ancient ancestors there in the ocean. Yeah. I that can't really so tell who cool. that is. I can yeah, it's not letting me get close enough to them without them scattering. All well, right. we got the kelp at least. We have the kelp. Nice. So we can get by. With a little kelp from our fronds. Hey, biodiversity hotspot. Who we got? Who we got? Who we setting free? Who's it gonna be? <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, little buddies. What's the name of those again? Oh, oh. they are um. Uh. Da, 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 da. Oh no! Oh man! Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Who is that? Oh my goodness! How am I blanking on that? Who is that? Who is that? Uh. Anomo Lacaris. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, chat. Look at you go. There that's what's go. up. There yes, we go. that's right. Yeah, because Anomalacaris, uh, wait, right? Yeah, Anomalacaris is one of the coolest scientific names. Uh, it means unlike other shrimp or abnormal shrimp. Yes, yeah. Because <laughs> carid, uh, caridia is uh, your standard shrimp. Uh, so this is an anomaly in the shrimp world, which <laughs> if you've ever seen up close how bizarre shrimp look, the fact that you get named the weird shrimp is a testament <laughs> <laughs> to how bizarre you ended up looking. Ooh, we got a little nautiloid friend there. Not quite a nautilus, but not quite not. <laughs> <laughs> Could that just be a straight up ammonite? No. Nah. Nah. Oh, we got another biodiversity hotspot right there next to the dead T-Rex. Be free. Yeah. <laughs> Shorks. Uh, oh, Helicoprion. Helicoprion. <gasps> Emily, go chase after it. I'm it's got trying. The crazy, I'm it's trying. Got the crazy donut teeth. Emily, faster, quicker now, immediately, <laughs> right away. To <laughs> Listen to RoboPat. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Emily. Yeah. yeah. Helicoprion, you are the coolest. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it, looks so, it looks so surprised at its own face. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
Oh, that's so great. Oh. Their uh, jaws are just absolutely insane with that little, like, what, table saw for a mouth. What was it? Uh, what was it that... Uh, sorry, I need to look it up. There's some kind of theory as to the exact type of food that Helicoprion would, uh, would eat with that kind of sawtooth face. What was it? I think it must have been, like, shelled cephalopods that it was developed to... The tooth whirl, they call it. Oh my goodness. Um, everybody go over to the, I'm just looking <laughs> at the Wikipedia for some for some extra background information, but I completely forgot about this. So um, uh, let me put it in the chat, but Helicoprion, um, think of like a helicopter uh, when you're spelling it. So, uh, <gasps> it's a what? There's a little dinosaur friend. There is? <laughs> Look at me oh! riding it! Oh, look at you! It's what technically kind of... not a dinosaur. It is an ichthyosaur. I'm sorry, Chad, but please don't come at me for that. Not a dinosaur. It, what, it's a plesiosaur? What kind of sword? It has to be kind of a, a plesiosaur. Yeah. That's so cool. Or a very tiny mosasaur, but no. Definitely more of a plesiosaur. Pliosaur? I think plesiosaur. Plesiosaur. Um, oh my goodness, that's so cool. But okay, so Helicoprion, <laughs> if you folks uh, go and look up Helicoprion, um, just over there on the Wikipedia article, it's there, but there's lots of other cool resources. But um, back in 1899, when uh, <laughs> there's an amazing, <laughs> Emily, you need to look at it too at some point, um, but trying to figure out where the tooth whorl went and uh, they, like now we know that it was the lower jaw, but there's an amazing illustration from the 1900s where it looks like it's a curled back nose made of teeth <laughs> where it's the upper jaw. It's like a 1900s parchment drawing. It's so, so, so funny. Um, but, um, but yeah, so um, Helicoprion uh, has that whirl of, of teeth. And who is your Thor friend here? Um, no, but they have like some little like gars of some kind oh. swimming around here too. Okay, hold on. Meditation shark, meditation shark. Oh yeah. We're gonna meditate on a meditation shark. This is yeah, like a Brian. Yes, look, look at, at him. Like, go. <laughs> look at you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm an unlikely shark. <laughs> Whoa! This was Whoa! a mistake. <laughs> I know, Trooper. It's really disconcerting how you could have a a whirl of teeth like that, where it just looks like a buzz saw. <laughs> Look at that! It's ridiculous. Who we going? Oh, another helicopter. Who this? Another helicoprion. Who we I'm going proud of to now? For having remembered that oh, name. Okay, they are just calling this ammonite. I guess. Hey. Well, I gotta say, that's my ammonite in shining armor. Look at it. It's so pretty. Oh, oh, you can almost see inside of its mouth. Look at its little beak. Hey, <laughs> and for those of you who don't know. It looks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. For, the, for those of you who don't know, uh, the theory for why we have ammonites uh, extinct on our planet in our ocean and we still have nautiluses surviving out there. Um, the idea is that ammonites had a reproductive phase where they were planktonic and were up near the surface where the um, ocean chemistry changed and became more acidic, making it more difficult for uh, the larvae of ammonites to um, survive. Whereas in nautiluses, nautiloids down in the deep sea, they give birth to, or they lay eggs rather, that then have uh, teeny tiny little nautiluses that come out ready to go that stay down in the deep sea where things don't change as often. So um, that's part of the reason why ammonites are uh, are extinct nowadays is partly due to um, changing ocean chemistry millions and millions of years ago is the, is the idea. So that ocean acidification that we talk about today um, is similar to what happened to the ammonites. And ammonites were some of the most abundant types of organisms out there. Um, hey. Hey yeah. Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have a nomalacaris. Uh, we should do something with them for, for uh, shrimp week. Shrimp. Oh my goodness! I, who's uh, 
Acanthody, Acanthody. It's this little fish friend. Enhance. Whoa. Oh. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with Acanthody, but you're cool. And Acanth usually means spiny head or spine of some kind, so I don't know. <gasps> Who's this? Dolicorincops. Dolicorincops? Dolicorincops? Dolly Where do we put the emphasis? On which uh, on syllable? syllable. <laughs> <laughs> which syllable do I use? Dolicorincops. <laughs> Dolly corn cops. I feel like Dolly corn chops. Well, oh, ring ring cup ring ring chops ring ring cups ring cups ring cups. Ryan cups. So it, oh, so it is a plesiosaur. It's a okay. Type it of is a plesiosaur. plesiosaur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the order, yeah, it's a plesiosaur. Okay. Why did it zoom away? No, go back. Amazing. Uh, fine. Whoa! Straight through the helicoprion. Yep, acanth is thorn or spine in Greek. I know that because one of the parasites that infects sea otters is known as acanthocephalins, uh, which means yeah. spiny heads. <gasps> Pat! Is it our friend? Is it TikTok? It's TikTok! That's right. All right, everybody do the renegade for the TikTok. No, Sorry. why did you move away from TikTok? <laughs> No, go back. <laughs> it won't let me go back. No. TikTolic. Take me back. Uh, an influencer before his time. Take me back to TikTolic. Oh, keep going. Keep going, Emily. I'm trying. You it's got just, this. It's just like, yeah, but have you seen the shark's mouth? I'm like, yeah, I don't care anymore. I want TikTolic. Well, I, you're just serving up stuff for helicoprion eyes at this point, uh, Emily. <laughs> Come on, TikTok. Well, you know, I don't know if you spent 15 seconds or more with it, but maybe that's why I had to move on. <laughs> it's all TikTok puns with TikTok for me. I just want to hang out with TikTok. <laughs> if you guys want to know more about TikTok, I highly recommend the book, uh, Your Inner Fish uh, by Neil Shubin. Uh, Dr. Neil Shubin is... Um, uh, one of the lead curators for the Field Museum and was on the team that discovered Tiktaalik, uh, Tiktaalik, the fossil of Tiktaalik um, up in Canada. Uh, and they have Tiktaalik, the fossil, at the Field Museum, and it is the fossil that I stood in front of and cried. Uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> I did. I had a total nerd moment because because this was uh, so this was the summer before I took ichthyology in, in college and I had just finished reading Your Inner Fish on the plane to Chicago. Um, I was visiting my sister there when she lived in Chicago and and I was like so stoked that I was taking ichthyology and um and I was just like, yeah, and reading all these books about fish. And I have always, you know, been a big old evolution nerd. And I was studying evolutionary biology. And I was like, okay, well, we're going we're gonna to go and we're going to read this book. And it's going to be amazing. And it was amazing. And then it, like, it didn't dawn on me until I entered that room in the field museum and like saw it out of the corner of my eye that I was seeing the actual fossil that I had just read about in this book. Oh, and it was wow. just like a total moment of overwhelm of just being like, this is it. This is the thing. This is the thing that I just read about. And the thing that is like, it's one of those missing link fishes um, so that cool. connects us to evolution and so just like staring at it and just like knowing like hey like this is what we came from um mm. was just a really really neat moment and so uh my sister who is not a scientist at all she's a musician um who took me to the field museum and put up with me going to the field museum i should say uh, just kind of backed away slowly from me. And was just like, I'm going to go sit on the bench and wait for you outside. I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I need a moment. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I mean, not quite a similar, um, similar experience, uh, 
on an emotional front, but I remember, I believe it's in the Natural History Museum over in Berlin that they have the original Archaeopteryx um, wow. skeleton. So and cool. And that was something else to see too. But man, being able to see Tiktaalik, uh, gotta go, gotta go do that. Yeah. If think, you're watching Field Museum, friends, we'll yeah. come see you when we can. I think they actually made like a, a PBS miniseries out of the book at some point in time. I never got I never got to watch it, but. Um, hey, uh, em Emily. Hey, Pat. Keep talking. Uh, I'm going to switch to a different USB uh, cable here real quick that okay. might fit a little bit better. Maybe we'll solve just... RoboPat. If not, I'll be back here in oh. just a quick sec. So we'll talk amongst out. your friends. Okay, we'll hang out with our our little uh, shrimp buddy. Um, right. for... <laughs> there is a, a goodbye RoboPat moment there. Oh, no. Oh, no. He doesn't know that we can still hear him trying to switch things over. Okay, I think he just turned off his mic. Okay, there we go. Um, oh no, he's wearing AirPods. He can't hear us. Oh no. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, uh, shrimps. Uh, so for those of you who, who might be uh, new followers of the aquarium on the social medias and are unfamiliar, uh, Patrick and I earlier this year, which feels like 8 billion years ago now at this point, um, decided to... <laughs> Uh, bring a little bit of joy into this world because, you know, you have so many charismatic megafauna out there that are getting their own weeks. We have Sea Otter Week. We have Shark Week. But oftentimes, so many of our little buddies are overlooked, including shrimps. So we decided to make our own Shrimp Week. It's in January. Um, we made an augmented reality filter and everything on Instagram uh, so that you can find out what kind of shrimp you are. Um, we, yeah, we had a good time. So we're hopefully gonna, gonna plan on bringing that joy. That little, <laughs> it can put it just clipped right through the mouth of, of that shark. Uh, that was pretty funny. Um, oh, TikTok, come back. No, oh, it swam right overhead. And yet when I clicked the button, it, it just, there we go. Yes, TikTok, we did it. We did it. We did it, team. Look at this friend. You, Look at this friend. I can hear you. Yeah, you're a little quiet, Pat, but I don't want to bump you up because I'm afraid of what happened little, last time. A little quiet. Is that better? That is better. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Tiktaalik friend. We're here. All right. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Emily, back to you. Tell oh, us no. About... We, were, we were talking about shrimp week. Um, we oh, yeah, talking, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm a shrimp. I don't. I, I know you're You're a shrimp. Yeah. Um, and other people are shrimps. Shrimps. Out there. Some people are um, shrimps. Some people are shrimps. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, our our bizarro our bizarro shrimp friend, um, yeah, you're you're right. We should update that that um, that AR filter so that we've got option for bizarro shrimp. Bizarro shrimp. <laughs> oh, I heard Robo Pat. We we're still not fixed. Yeah, we're all. still not fixed. That's okay. It's all good. I tried. We're, we're, we're doing our best. We're doing what we can. I'm, uh, I'm so excited that Tiktaalik is in here. And, you know, once again, shout out to the Abzu devs who clearly did their homework yeah. on what kind of the coolest critters would <laughs> exist out there. These are real, legs. real friends that were out there in the ocean. Look at its little legs. I like that it did a little a loop-de-loop -loop right there. I'm sure that's creative yeah. license, but I love thinking about Tiktaalik yeah. doing little loop-de-loops thinking, you know what? Maybe, maybe land. Maybe land <laughs> Maybe sometime. land. Maybe land. Sometimes you can see that the eyes on top of the head are another mm -hmm. uh, indicator that hey, maybe land sometime. Um, <laughs> maybe land? Question mark. That's, maybe that's land. Their shirt. Yeah. <laughs> when they're like, hey, sign a petition. Maybe land? Question maybe mark. Maybe land. Oh, that's a meme right there. The 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 puppy dog face with the little two fingers and just maybe, maybe land. land. <laughs> I don't maybe. maybe? Oh Moved no! Away. Somebody, somebody do the meme of, of the like. Of course not, but maybe. And it's like <laughs> land. Of course not, but maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Unless <laughs> land? No. Unless. <laughs> uh thank you, TikTok, for you, TikTok. Uh, enabling this live stream a few million years before you knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Here we all are. Here we are. Here we are in this beautiful room filled filled with shrimps, filled with tectolics. And I want to appreciate just how um, feel like 
uh, the plesiosaur appears, you know, as Ooh. it's swimming around in there, how like seal or sea lion like, you know, like uh, like the sharks yeah. are classic. Helicoprion's a classic shark, but the idea that you have um, our little plesiosaur friend back there just looking at it based on its scale and everything, I'm just like, man, were those just like the seals and sea lions of back in the day? That's so cool. Right. You well, know? someone was mentioning that it looks kind of like a, a really long, flat penguin, too, with those big right, front yeah, flippers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, I mean, that is like that is like a penguin-sea lion hybrid. <laughs> so rad. It even has counter shading on it. Even though it we even don't know does. what color these things were because we weren't there at the time. The best guess is that it was probably colored like this. If it was living in the ocean, there is a very good chance that it had a white tummy and a dark back. Um, that counter shading again is so that when you are looking down on it from above, it's going to blend in with the darker bottom of the ocean. You can see how it almost kind of disappears. It just blends in right there. And then looking up at it, uh, that white tummy is going to blend in where the sun is shining down in the water. So lots of modern animals Whoa. that live in the ocean have that counter shading on them. So it only makes sense that, you know, even though this is an artistic rendition of what we think it might look like, it was probably counter shaded like that. I mean, that goes with all of the the animals that are in here, too. Um, gars, we know what they look like. They're still around. Um, but Tiktaalik, too, we're making, you know, our best guesses when we create artistic renditions of those um same thing <laughs> with uh the sharks that are in here um it's all just our best guess at what colors they are gonna be uh sometimes you can find you know pigment and stuff uh but not not often is that preserved so uh technology nowadays is doing some pretty amazing things uh with uh especially dinosaurs on land um that if there are any uh, fossilized uh, remnants of a feather or something in there, sometimes we can extract pigment from those to tell what color they were. But um, really, it's just a guess. Man, I want to be an Anomalocaris for Halloween now, I think. Oh, please do. Just be the weirdest. If you can, I be, can be, if you want to be an anom an animal, I can't say it. Anomalocaris. Uh, there we go. I got there. Um, I'll, I'll be a Tiktaalik. Okay. Yeah. All right. And everybody else in stream, pick one of uh, pick one of these organisms. Send us the send us the image. I'm not sure we would do anything with them, but if there are not, <laughs> look them up on stream. Is that the is that the new uh, uh, fan art that we ask people to draw? It's just. Yeah, hashtag NBA fan art. <laughs> NBA fan, fin art. Yeah, NBA fin, fin art. art. Yes, yeah. NBA fin art. Yeah. Look at an Anomalocaris just doing its thing, being the bizarro shrimp. Look, oh my goodness. I mean, it's, you it's almost. Like, it's like if a brine shrimp got angry. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, it's like if a brine shrimp was like, wait, you do what with us? At what scale? Brine shrimp are one of the most abundant uh, crustaceans out there in the aquarium trade as far as food for other organisms. Um, uh, brine shrimp are incredible because their eggs form cysts that can basically survive without water um, for a very, very long time. And a single drop of water will kind of awaken the beast and let little brine shrimps come out. But that looks like an aggressive sea monkey. <laughs> that is... That is a brine shrimp that heard what we've been doing. It's come for vengeance <laughs> from the past. Um, my life is dinosaur theme point out, pointed out exactly what I was thinking. It looks like it has a mustache. Pat, you were like halfway there through with that costume. If you had just like kept on growing the quarantine facial hair, the quarantine, quarantine beard said, there, whoa, and then just whoa, shaved out the I've middle. Got, <laughs> I've got a mustache. I've got a mustache here. I could, I could try. Okay. <laughs> Give it a shot. Exactly, hidden holy ground. Brian shrimp angry. I want power. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Why is it no? I feel okay. like I feel like most of the animals sleep mode. <laughs> sleep mode? No, <laughs> no sleep I feel mode. Like most of the Thank animals you. I give voices to on this stream have high pitched voice, but that one's definitely just like, I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a bizarre shrimp, will you? <laughs> Woo. All right, uh, naked robot engineer Emily <laughs> let's see if we can find you an exoskeleton Whee. 
Uh, I was just going to do a quick loop and see if there were any other little biodiversity portals Good that call. we missed. Good call. Good call. And then we'll we'll make our way up there. Hey, little skeleton. Got yeah. a little T-Rex. Look at that T-Rex. Hi, Sue. Oh. Boy, this is just a... We should... like Looks like your jokes wound you up on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, How's a hanging no. murder bird? <laughs> We're salty. Salty. Well, we always knew that her jokes were abysmal. That's right. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> gotcha. We say this as Sue is not here to defend themselves. <laughs> so. Well, you know, it's it's okay. Everybody over there at the shed, over there at the shed, you know, they they take a they take a TikTok licking and keep on ticking. Field. Yeah. Field museum, not shed. Shed is the aquarium, my dude. Field museum, is that where it is? It's in Chicago. Yeah, it's same in, diff. Yeah. I'm a small town boy. It's all the same thing. Okay, we already did that one. Nice. All right, I think we got him. Yeah, we'll just yeah. swim up these stairs. <laughs> I appreciate the idea of swimming upstairs. <laughs> oh, uh, I just to, uh, the shark. <laughs> that was our meditation. <laughs> yeah, that was our meditation shark. But now I have to sense it. <laughs> Since we did it for that, then we have to. Oh, no, no, nope. can't just swim there. Have to. Uh, yeah, there have to go up go. the stairs. There yeah. you go. Whee. Nicely done. Time Use those for... robot muscles. Yeah. Nice. So, you know, in a sense, this is uh, sort of like a playthrough of Link to the Past as well. <laughs> right? Exactly. It's a solid gamer pun. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate your overwhelming support in chat. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, not that one. And no? Yes? No. 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 Maybe. Maybe? I just love one? that there's Helicoprion in this game and Tiktaalik and everything. Right? Molas. Just the coolest. Like. Okay. Okay. See, but I went this way. And then there wasn't a thing. Is there a thing for me to do over here? Hey, Ammonite. Oh. Uh, I go. I go there. We need a robot friend to open that up, don't we? Huh. Did I miss something? Maybe. Is there anything on the side of this building? Oh, is it, I just have to. Did I, was I just going up the wrong side? Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Now this door is closed nope. too. <laughs> Yeah, that would normally be a robot friend kind of thing. Oh. Or maybe it's something oh, we have to I... do topside. <laughs> look at you. Look at me problem solving. No, look, Emily, 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 turn around. Turn, turn around. Me. Yeah. Yeah, go go back yeah, in the back. water. Yeah, okay. Go back in the water and okay. get back out. And we just need to give TikTok its due, okay? So, like, when we get back <laughs> out, everybody go, GG TikTok <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> right? Because, I mean, this is like, we, we need to pay homage to the idea of going from the water to the air. Tiktaalik. Tiktaalik. <laughs> if everybody <laughs> upon exiting <laughs> pools for the rest of their life could just go Tiktaalik. Tiktaalik. <laughs> That's our meme to the world, please. Tiktaalik. <laughs> Every time somebody sees a salmon at the aquarium, they're going to go, wow, and in the wild, coming out of any body of water. Tiktaalik! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that's our legacy. Yes. Ooh. We. We did it. 
I believe back there there were some uh, fish, the armor-headed fish. There was a school of them. Oh, really? I think okay. so. Come on, little friend. So wait, Pat. So if going out of the water or saying TikTok, just going into the water, <laughs> mean a whale. A whale. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have to you have to preface uh, when you're online like, oh dear, a whale. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who may not understand the pun, uh, just in case, whales are descendants of ungulates, which include deer, cows, etc., um, and they're closely related to hippopotami. Uh, but uh, yeah, whales are ain't, are um, a uh, secondary um, return to the to the ocean. So if Tiktaalik went up on land, and then you had deer doing their thing, uh, once you had some of those ungulates going back into the water, uh, is how you get whales. So that secondary uh, return to the ocean. So that's why when you jump into the pool, you got to go, oh dear, <laughs> a whale, a whale. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Nice. We've I I just send us your TikToks or your Instagram reels or whatever. If you end up doing those memes in real life, you'll be our favorite people. Oh dear. Oh well. well. <laughs> nice. Well, this uh oh, this is a good area. This looks great. Oh, who's that down there? Who's Hello this friend? You. Emily. Oh, 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 it's what's the name of that huge turtle? <laughs> it's um oh no, I'm gonna forget. What's the name? Oh we've got of course we've got our coelacanth buddies. Archelon, right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this friend. Look at this friend. Wow. That's totally awesome. Yeah. <laughs> There's little barnacles growing on its shell. Hi, buddy. Trying to find, yeah, what giant turtle they might be. Yeah, Archelon, Archelon is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But there's apparently a bunch of other ones. That's. <laughs> trippy <laughs> we, just, oh. <laughs> we we missed out on quite quite Ugh. the fun times of uh of reptilian herp kind yeah, amphibian it's kind back in the day it's true um oh man i mean there's gar in here there's era arapaimas there's arowanas and if you're not familiar with the coelacanths they are our best lobed fin fish cousin friends Oh, it's so cool. Go. Yeah, it's time to celebrate for sure. Oh. This is beautiful. A little bit of greenery, you know? Yeah. Look at that friend. This is hey, a very hey. good friend. Hello, small human. Robot. <laughs> Have you ever had your rib cage become your home? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I love the water pouring underwater. Clearly, a different salinity, <laughs> temperature, or. Uh... Oh, hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> yeah, it, it it did not want to spend too much time close close to us just then. Um, up to the left there, uh, it looks yeah, like there's. Sure. Uh, oh, that is a big. Arapaima. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh no, it won't let me write it. I wonder if Arapaima, I wonder if any of these animals know just how much, like just how ridiculous they are to us that we put them in our games like that. Cause like <laughs> Animal Crossing has an epic Arapaima. Uh, oh yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Habitat thing, yeah. So cool. Look at you. 
Look at you, good friend. See, like, Heather's like, excuse me. Yes. Excuse me, I thought that I was the good friend. You are, buddy. Seal the deal. <laughs> That's every Seal Camp salesman <laughs> pitch meeting. Seal the deal. Yeah, they must be so angry that like uh, an actual animal called a seal came around later, which is like, no, that was our thing. <laughs> I was the original seal of approval. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all of the all of the invertebrates that had paravisceral salomes are just like, yeah, all right, whatever, buddy. <laughs> We're the original seals, bro. Hey. I I wonder what that uh me me making that that voice and Robo Pat co combination was just. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still hear me through Robo Pat? Like, am I still intelligible? I mean, or you're partially. <laughs> we. Whoa, Seth friends. Goodbye, Ammonites. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. You got to get out on land? Maybe. Water elevator. That's sweet. That is sweet. Uh -oh. How big are coelacanths in real life is a good question. Um, I think they're like three to four feet. I thought they were a little bit bigger than that. They were closer to five feet. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Sizable. It's Sizable. definitely very big. Yeah. Bird friends, come here. Oh, see, everybody everybody in the chat is doing it. Tiktolic! Because <laughs> you got out of the water, Emily. <laughs> yes! We forgot. Yes! We forgot. We Thank forgot. you. Hold on. Hold GG, on. Tiktolic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody did it. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I love you, chat. Everybody oh, did well, it. Oh, let me go back in. Ah, beans. Well, here, just walk out. Tiktolic! Tiktolic! <laughs> Oh dear. Oh whale. <laughs> oh dear. Oh whale. Aloop. Is that what we were supposed to do? I have no idea. That's the way I went though. Oh, these are new friends. Oh wait, these are the um 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 up up the oh and up up the Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. I know what you're yes. Uh does that anybody know the name directly? Those massive massive eyeballs. Ophthalmosaurus, thank you. Ophthalmosaurus. <laughs> I was like, I got the ophthalm part. Opth the ophthal. Well, you never, you never know who you want to like say saurus to, but like they're not oh, dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh, they're just calling them ichthyosaurs, but that's okay. <laughs> no, these ones are called eye lizards. That's what ophthalmosaurus <laughs> means. Yeah. How could you not? How could you not? Yeah. It's, yep. These are squid eaters. I remember now. Yep. Incredible. Wow. So, so cool. <gasps> friend. Who? Friend, friend, huh? friend, 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 <gasps> friend, friend. Nessie. Yep. Nessie, yes. come back. Come back to me, Nessie. Come back here. No, Elasmus that's not or. the one that I wanted to grab onto. <laughs> Nessie, come, come back. Come on. Before Emily gets to Elasmos sore swimming after no. you. No. <laughs> Elasmosaurus. Yes. This who I want. This is my buddy. Oh. Alright, game over. Oh. Game of game of the year. Game, game of all time. Game of the year. Did this get game of the year? Like it came out in twenty sixteen. If it didn't it get game of the year in twenty sixteen, it should've. Forget Super Mario Brothers too. Donkey would know. It's this is the yeah. game of the year. <laughs> Biologist, this is the greatest. Look at this thing. <gasps> Look at you. Oh. 
that. I think wow. you know this, that my car is named Nessie in honor yep. of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, which is why it's always locked. <laughs> oh, look nice. at this good friend. She's just swimming along. Wow. Man, imagine having that kind of reach, like, and you show up and all of your friends uh, underwater just like, hey, could you reach this thing from this counter 20 feet away? You're just like, that's all you can. <laughs> the only reason you got me around. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you're just driving your car underwater, Emily. Yeah. That's <laughs> what Fiore is saying. Goodness, look at that thing. Oh, I want to know if they were swimming through kelp forests. Could they have been? Can Where were they from? I mean, they might have been, Patrick. If you think really? about it. Were they in temperate seas? Yeah, they were in temperate seas. They were in cold water. What? What? Could you even imagine? No. No, like... Like, I mean, we don't we don't even have our stellar sea cow anymore, and I'm already like freaking uh, yeah, out thinking upset about, about there that. being a massive manatee out here. But to have an elasmosaur in kelp. Oh my gosh, how cool would that be? Be amazing. This is so cool. Look how little we are, just hanging out with her. Huh. Boy, I've got a lot of research to do to learn more about these wonderful. Was well, my question segments. is: Was kelp around back then? I don't when know. Uh, what I'm seeing from Elasmosaurus specifically is that it was in one of those interior seas um, that happened to be around uh, where like Western Kansas is to this day. So, I don't know. I really don't know, but it was mm. connected to the cold water up north, but yeah, man, apparently you used to be able to swim from northern Alaska straight down to uh, the Yucatan. That's so what? cool. That's rad. Road trip. Uh... <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I mean, great job <laughs> again, everybody, but like <laughs> the fact that we've got off Palmasaurus represented on the wall and then they're swimming by and it feels like they're in a staring contest with each other like who's going to blink first <laughs> uh, do we have uh, I imagine in this room we've got some biodiversity buddies on the bottom potentially. oh maybe alright I'm just going to clip through my friend here yeah. real MBD. Quick. when they said clip that that's not what they meant Emily <laughs> alright oh, pro gamers hey look I found one Nice, you did it. Oh, uh, Pat, who are they? What are we going to get here? Who knows? What who are knows? we going to get here? What if it's... No, I don't even want to guess. <gasps> oh, 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 what's the name? Oh, they look like tigers, but they have a long tail. There it was. There it was. What is it called? What is it called? Go back, friend. Are they saying, oh, my life is dinosaur themed? Dacosaurus? Dacosaurus. What? Oh my goodness, Emily. There's so many species that I need to go back and read up on. Oh, swim faster, buddy. Yeah, it's the one that looked just like, it looks just like a leopard seal does, but it's like, it's like bizarro world leopard seal. Yeah. Oh. Oh, That's disconcerting. Is. Oh, I just jumped out of the water. Yeah. Nice, Emily. Style points. Stuck the landing, too. Wait, 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 wait. Can you jump out of the water and yell Tiktaalik real quick? <laughs> okay, hold on. Then, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we on. yell Tiktaalik, oh dear, oh whale, all at the same time? Okay, hold on. Okay. Hold, stand by. I have to, I have to get some uh, momentum going here. Get some momentum. 
Alec! Did you you're a whale! You're a whale, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry, everybody's ears. <laughs> oh, that was, <laughs> that was so bad. Let's do it again. Tick well. Is this SciCom? Everybody's learning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a Meditation Shark. I know. I was going to look for one of the diversity portals, okay, more, yeah, see yeah, if yeah, there yeah, were yeah, any okay. more, and then we can go to the Meditation Shark. It. Let's do it. By the way, I appreciate uh, I appreciate chat uh, all of you syncing up like that. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Especially over on YouTube, there <laughs> we had a quite quite a lot of <laughs> quite a lot of concerted effort. Uh, great job, Twitch too. <laughs> Just amazing. Uh. Okay, here we go. Okay, nice. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? <gasps> Chunky Fran, isn't that um uh? It's it can't. No, Dunkle, Dunkle. Yeah, Dunkleostus. Dunkleostus. Yeah, Thank yeah, the you. um, the ones with the armored face. Yeah. Yeah. Dunkleostus. Yeah. Where do you go? Where do you go? So this is a video game Dunkley. I only have so many gamer references. I'm sorry, everybody. Where did they go? There you are. Dunkleosis there does you not are, want to hang out. Yeah. Yeah, let's see you. It's your face. Let me see that face. Oh, my Look goodness. Your face Look and at your those tummy. armor plates. Look at them. Oh, man. Yee. I remember first seeing in my dinosaur books the uh, Dunkleosis, um head with the bony jaws and armor and just thinking how gnarly of an animal that must have been. Um, but Dunkleostis is one of those types of animals back in the day, um, shells and armor were really heavily favored in evolutionary terms. And then eventually you had sleek and quicker uh, fishes and squids and other organisms that show up without the armor that end up out competing them. And that's uh, where it's thought that the demise, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that is where the uh, evolutionary demise likely came to many of these incredibly well armored animals that they just couldn't uh, compete anymore with sleeker, faster, less uh, defended organisms, but better uh, putting more of their resources towards reproduction instead of uh, instead of uh, um, protection. So um, RIP F's in the chat for Dunkleostis, but great job. What are we? We're missing a syllable. Dunkley Osteus. Dunkley Osteus, excuse me. Dunkley Osteus. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so cool. Dunkley Osteus. Yeah. Got a bone to pick with you. Placoderms are still around. That's right. Are they? No. No, placoderms went extinct. Yep. Yeah. Osteoderm. Bonefish. Ooh. Hey, if you've got a link to that in the chat, APIC, new papers say that placoderms are ancestral to all vertebrates. So placoderms and uh, coelacanths in that same in that same lineage in that same group. Placoderm. Very cool. All the things that Abzu makes us look up. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, 
This is a beautiful little spot. Boop. Time to meditate. Acanthody. We get it. We get it. Sorry, buddy, but we got to move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gar. Gar, matey. <laughs> the piratiest of fish. Gar. Who's Terapsis? It's this little friend in the middle. Explain yourself. What? I got some little like an old snoot. Ancient batfish type? Yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. What? What are you? Oh my goodness. If you look it up, those are bizarre. Wing shield. Terapsis. Teraspis. Teraspis, yeah. Teraspis. Teras. Yeah, like, okay. What? Oh, it's an Agnathan. Oh. Uh, so that's okay. Jawless fish. Yep. Well, shout out to you. Yeah. I would say you're Jossum, but you don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, whoa. We bumped up a whole bunch of followers here all, all of a sudden. Hi, everybody. Oh, hello. Hey, friends. Hello. Thanks for being there. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Teraspis. Um, I guess we That's can do a, another. Uh, since we have more people watching with us right now. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Emily. <laughs> I'm part of the social media team here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Um, I'm the one who is flying this stream here, um, uh, along with my buddy uh, and my coworker Patrick, who is across the bay over in his house. Um, Hi there. Hello. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm your terrible boy, Pat, and uh, this particular stream, <laughs> Robo Pat, because I'm having some audio issues. For some yeah, reason, but, uh, uh, yeah, I guess that that robot is Pat there. That is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this stream where we play Abzu slowly, but we learn about the animals. Oh, and looks like forty people left. Okay, oh, sorry no. everybody. Oh no. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, we got a weird shrimp up on screen right now. <laughs> An Anomalacaris. Anomalacaris. It's our strange Who shrimp. Ooh, is Gyrodus. Oh, well, it, oh, it's, it was eaten. Rip. Rip. <laughs> RIP Gyrodus. Gyrodus. Uh, oop. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Well, oh, this um, gar is just. Oh, no. This oh, is the a massacre. <laughs> oh. Well. This was. Uh, this was garusome to watch. <laughs> um, apologies to this fin. <laughs> oh, man. This is Hello, Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus, save us. Are you going to just... Oh, just... Tiktaalik. Oh, no. <laughs> A very small Tiktaalik. <laughs> small tick. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so happy. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. So good. Who are we going to over here? Another Dunkleosteus. No. Pycnodontiform. Who it gonna be? What does that be? mean? Who it gonna be? Zooming around, looking at our elasmosaur. Oh, what a good What friend. does does anybody know what? Um, the etymology of Pycno is? That's... Because Pycnogonid, Pycnopodia, yeah. Pycnodontiformes. What's Pycno? Anybody know? Pycnogonids are sea spiders. What? Okay, so I'm just looking it up. So apparently, uh, Pycnogonids are now in a different order called Pantopoda. Uh, and then there's Pycnogonida, but Pantopoda means all feet, huh. which is hilarious. Um, 
So pick. Dense, dense. Oh, pick no okay. means dense. dense. That makes dense. sense. If it's all feet, pick no. Yeah. Okay. Well, pick means <laughs> dense knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dense knees. <laughs> so pick no daunted means den dense teeth. Perfect. Well, we got a hive train going over there on Twitch. Choo choo, all aboard the hive train, everybody. <laughs> thanks so much uh, thanks, for <laughs> the support. Hey, Night Eyes, thanks for the uh, thanks Prime for sub. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, uh, I guess we can do some of our, our usual uh, plugs. plugs here uh, in the middle of the stream. Um, if you have an Amazon Prime account and you haven't yet, uh, used your one free subscription for the month, uh, you can connect your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch Prime account and uh, and subscribe to our channel for free. All of the money um, from the subs and the bits goes straight to supporting the aquarium. Um, so especially right now while we're closed due to the pandemic, um, any any little bit, every little bit helps. Um, so we appreciate and, and love all of you for all of your support over the last seven months that we have been closed. Um, it's been just absolutely overwhelming the amount of love that we've gotten from the community. Um, of course, if you want to just straight up donate to the aquarium, you can do that too. Oh my gosh. We've got Whoa. Wandering Falcon. Thank you so much for gifting that sub. Thank gifting you. more subs. Oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. Wow. Um, we also have merch. Um, Whoa, Night Eyes 99 <laughs> gifting subs like oh a Oh my mad. gosh. Night Austin. Eyes 999. Thank you Whoa. so much. Thank 100% success on the hype train. Anonymous um, gifter, thank you. Oh my gosh. Hi. For those, for those of you over there on YouTube, we're doing a hype train over there on Twitch, on Twitch. Uh, real quick. So if you're a picnic god and get your dense you. knees over to the Twitch chat. Because <laughs> um, we choo choo all aboard this. Uh, oh my gosh, we've gone straight from here. level two hype train to a level four hype train. Thank you Whoa. so much, everyone. Oh my goodness. Oh, your jumping spider named Tabasco says hi. That's a spicy <laughs> friend. Hello, <laughs> jumping spicy. spider. <laughs> That's a spicy. Tabasco. Oh my gosh. Yay, Anonymous gifters. It. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Cheer. Wow. Send thanks. Thanks oh my for gosh. The, we did it. Level four complete. That's so great. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone. What's, oh, my goodness. Oh, level five. Oh, NBD. NBD. We're 43% there. there. We got oh, this. we're 58, oh, you, 59, Omnijack. 60 percent there. Thank you, Omnijack. Wow. Meanwhile, as we just watch this gar just, just destroy eat, eat every more. possible living entity. There. <laughs> this gar it's is a, destroying things listen, just as well as everyone is destroying that hype train over there. It's on true. Twitch. You know, Emily, I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit this level five hype train. It's almost a gar NT at this point. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You might have jinxed it there, but <laughs> I may have jinxed it there. We've got sixty percent. Prove me wrong, everybody. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my gardeness! Ah, uh, if you've got a lot of gars hanging out, planting seeds, that's a garden happening. Um, can we get a celebratory trooper belly rub narration? Oh, oh she's Ooh. taking a nap. Right now oh we're not gonna belly uh, rub so i don't want to be interrupt the belly nap or the the nap that's happening with belly rubs right now but i can tell you it's pretty adorable um so since i've moved into the new the new place uh i have a i have a futon in my office um well what was supposed to be the second bedroom is is my office <laughs> and so uh the futon in here which is supposed to be for you know guests trooper has claimed to be her own so she now instead of having um three beds of of her own uh, three dog beds in the house now she has three dog beds and a futon in the house so uh she's she's being overly spoiled at the moment um she <laughs> has taken the couch pillows and adjusted them so that she can lay on the couch and then put her paws and her head up on the on the pillows so it's it's extra adorable at the moment Level five hype train. <laughs> yeah. Level five hype train. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thank you so much, everyone. 
Thank you. Wow. Oh, I always appreciate that support. Gyrodis. Sorry, I keep on getting distracted by this friend. Some, only because it looks so much like... Oh, no. Um, of course, as, as soon as I say that, it, it moves away. Um, it looks so much like an Opa. So I wonder if it has any relation at all. We're going to look that up. I'm typing into the wrong keyboard. This is what happens when you stream on two laptops. Patrick, are you still there? I am still there. Okay. Yes. I got I, was, I got worried. I thought No, I was I was, we sent, have robot I was Pat sent joining information us today. to potentially uh, destroy Robo Pat forever. Um so I tried switching up a thing. So if Robo Pat oh, okay. doesn't come back, then good job. <gasps> Maybe. We'll see. But I can't get over how great this game is and how great this Twitch chat and YouTube chat community is. Y'all are the best. Pat, I have bad news. Robo Pat's still there. Robo Pat's I heard him. still here. I heard him. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's okay. Oh, wait. Is this okay. a new friend? Geosaurus. Ooh. Hello. Oh whoa! Yeah, that's the um, that's the like leopard. Seal. Oh sh goodness, that's the leopard. Oh okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. One. They just had a different spot pattern on them. Okay, cool. All right. The coolest room so far. Every room that we go to here is just like one after the other. Just so cool. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Gotta go up here. Gotta press the button. Oh, -oh. apparently uh, Geosaurus is a type of crocodile form, and I found out that that makes sense. Um, there are uh, currently only a few dozen types of crocodilians around, but there used to be many more. And I know Robo Patch said that. We're at another hype train. What? Oh my goodness. Thanks, everybody. Choo choo, all aboard the hype train. We're leaving the station right now. Uh, we've got a Dunkley Osteus, uh, Dunkley Osteus uh, fountain currently pouring out some love uh, from all of you on Twitch chat out to the game. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. New room, new friends. New room, yes. new friends. New room, new friends. New room, new friends. New room, new friends. New room, new fronds. We got to get you an uh, exoskeleton there, Emily. It's true. I know you like to bury your soul on stream, but this is ridiculous. I was just feeling really metal today, Pat. That's all. <laughs> oh, man. I know that it's, it's a Friday stream. It's, it's my sure. goal to make you make that that sound. <laughs> Whenever I make, whenever I make a bad pun, and it's good enough to make you make that sound, I know I've that, done I've done well. Yeah. Yes. No. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! What is happening? We also just appreciate the beautiful music in this game, too. I turned it up a little bit today. Let me know if it's too loud, chat. It was just, it was too pretty to not have in the background. Oh, look so at cool. this, look at this pretty room. Okay, where am I going here? Uh, to the side? Maybe. No, that's just algae on the top there. All right. We swimming. Oh, cool. Here, uh, Emily, Emily, write, write, uh, let's write something in the algae. Okay. What do you, what do you think we could write in the algae? Um, okay. Okay, there's. Eh. No. Oh, it's very difficult. <laughs> very difficult? Okay, there's. What if I just do a. Eh. No, no. Okay, well, let me swim that way. 
it is it is highly against me swimming in any specific pattern here. I think. Okay, never mind. We tried. We tried. Great job, Emily. We tried very hard. And got so oh. far, but in the end, it didn't really <laughs> it matter. It didn't really matter. Oh, we got butts to press. Yes. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, everybody get ready. Get ready. Tiktaalik! Tiktaalik! <laughs> <laughs> We is this it. is this going to carry over to Animal Crossing whenever we go diving? Oh, of course. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, in and out of Animal Crossing. Tiktaalik. Tiktaalik. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite freshwater plant, Emily? Ooh. Ya boy Splendens. Ooh, that is a good question, ya boy Splendens. Um, I'm going to go with probably a very popular one. Uh, no, hold on. I'm going to change my mind. <sighs> Gosh. Oh, that's a good question, though, Pat. It, it is. It's a good a, question. A fresh, freshwater plant? Freshwater plant? I mean, do you have a, a favorite freshwater plant? Um, you know, I was going to say lily pads, but I think it's because I've been preconditioned <laughs> to <laughs> think about lily pads from the game. So I don't know if I have like an honest one ready off the bat. Hmm. Um, I mean, would irises technically count? Because they, they are, I mean, you can have irises mm -hmm. that grow on land, but they are also wa freshwater plants. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm... I feel like I've only got like I mean, you could go lotus. I feel like I've got like brackish water plants at best. I'm I'm really bad at freshwater stuff. Everybody. Well, if, I mean, if we go with brackish plants, you, I mean, you could technically do like mangroves. That's like, what I was thinking. Mangroves yeah, are super cool, mangrove but I really trees. like pickleweed. I think pickleweed is oh, really cool. Oh, pickleweed is very good. I used to take my my students when we were when I was a, a TA in college, and we would take the students down to Mexico to the research station. Um, we would go on a walk in a what's called a negative estuary. So a negative estuary is an estuary that is no longer connected to fresh water. So it is saltier in the estuary than it is out in the ocean. Um, but we used to go for little hikes through there during low tide. It would be all muddy and stuff. And uh, there would be pickleweed growing everywhere. Mm. And the pickleweed down there, um, you know, walking around and... <laughs> You're in the middle of a desert and you just like go and you'd like pick a little bit and have a little snack. And all the students wow. would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's pickleweed. Huh? That's so funny. A good, a good uh, little snack. In the chat, we've got um, papyrus reeds. Oh, that's papyrus really cool. reeds. That's, that's a, a good, good one. one. That's a really good one. Um, man, and then I just love, you know, like some of the dune grasses. And... Mm, that's oh, true. Sorry, Robo Pat. Um, but yeah, uh, it's fall in, in that other room there, Emily. It is. Look at that fall color. Look at those birds. Look at all those, not chickens. Look at all those chickens. I hope I she's doing well today. I hope Such so Such a legendary too. vine. <laughs> I hope so too. Look at that beautiful tree. And uh, so we're seeing some chlorophyll. <laughs> <laughs> to your left, you can see. <laughs> to your left, we're seeing the other types of chlorophyll uh, that so allow pretty. the tree. Yep. Yeah. Oh, are we about to Odiro whale it from way up here? No, that's. Uh, no, I think I have to go higher, and then we have to Odiro whale it. Maybe. O D O H. We need to have our own merch with these things. <laughs> we do. I have to say, as someone who has never experienced fall in a place where I've lived, like where like all the trees change colors and stuff, mm -hmm. I always appreciate it when it's like in a video game and I, and I can experience it virtually. Yeah, for those of you out there, um, we uh, um, out here, <laughs> out here in Monterey uh, and um, and Emily in Arizona, I imagine, too, you have to like take trips to go see yeah. fall color. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this where we are, Odiro whale it? Or do we have to go 
Can I go around? Do I go this way? Oh man, this is a deep philosophical question from V Plenty. Oh, no, I can't go that way. <laughs> um, in chat, uh, Emily. Um, this is not a stupid question at all. This is a very, very deep question that goes to the root of self-identity, uh, recognition in nature, uh, cognition, uh, intelligence. This is not a dumb question. Oh, no. Emily. Yes. For animals like fish that can't see what they look like, there aren't mirrors as far as we know, how do fish look at another fish that's the same species and understand, oh, that's me. That's my oh. fish species. Oh, man. <laughs> That, oof. I mean, that's a, Honestly, a good question. Oh, man. It's a terrific question because, you know, they know clearly yeah. that they are the same species and that they are on the same on the same team, as it were. Potential mating uh, opportunity, potential, you know, co-op opportunity, things like that. But, um, yeah, uh, whether or not they have that conscious thought of understanding that this thing is me and that thing is not me, it, that is a deep, deep question. That is a deep, deep question. I mean, it, it, it probably comes down to chemistry, that there are some kind of chemical signals yep. that they are giving off that lets each other know, hey, you are the same thing as me. It's kind of the same way that um, like jellies know not to sting each other because yeah. of... Yeah, and there's... Yeah. there's also going to be some hardwired responses uh, in there, you know, with um, recognizing colors, shapes of things, you know, just like, you know, you see, you see a hornet and you don't, if you've never seen a hornet before, you know that it's, it's mean <laughs> from <laughs> uh, just its whole attitude, its color, yeah. um, its, its general demeanor. Um, so there's definitely a lot of uh, built-in circuitry there because if it wasn't there and you couldn't re and you had to relearn what your what your species was all the time, yeah, that's not going to be super super efficient as yeah. far as like trying to make more of you. Um, but yeah, you know, chemical properties just hardwired circuitry. But it is a really fascinating idea to think about how conscious are other animals of the other species around them that might be very similar mm -hmm. um, and hybridized rockfish species make it seem that maybe they're not so sure themselves yeah <laughs> a lot of the time yeah exactly yeah i mean and then oh my goodness i mean it's, it it's an incredibly it's a deep question but it's also a question that i'm sure that scientists are trying to figure out actively sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aren't fish also capable of making noises as well? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, shape, yeah. color, um, chemistry, lots of different things are going to help them know that they are the same, but whether or not they're aware that they are the same uh, or they just are yeah. and go about it. It's really one of those things. Oh, sorry. Unpopular opinion. Hornets aren't always mean, but man, you got to know them well. Um, as somebody who's allergic to hornets, I'm sorry. I definitely come from a biased place of, um, <laughs> of I hear murder hornets and I say, yeah, what's new? But um, uh, so, um, yes. Yeah. Thank you for calling me on that. I'm definitely I'm definitely averse to the Vespas out there. It's, it's true. Uh, one of my TAs in college is has a has her PhD in, in, in studying wasps and hornets down in New Zealand now. And oh. I, I feel like you and her would have a lot to talk about. Very differing opinions, Pat. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Jenny Jant. She's doing incredible work with wasps. <laughs> yeah, but you know, don't get so good that everybody wants to protect them forever. <laughs> Find somebody who your study species can kill. <laughs> oh, uh, goodness. Man. <laughs> Whoa, Fiore is becoming one of the most interesting people in the world at the moment. You are a beekeeper and you also love mopeds. I'm glad that you got the Vespa reference. <laughs> <laughs> Fiore is firing. She's on I all know. cylinders here. Yeah. <laughs> inviting inviting me out to Maine. I'm on board. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I want to go see the puffins out there. Can that be a count? I... I I would, I would never leave, Pat. You would oh. never get me back. Emily, yeah. I just noticed the time. We might need to uh, solve this room here. We might need Back to solve. Th you want to solve this room? 
Or uh, or do we want to stay here? Do we want to start? Or do we want to stop here? Oh, we got to Odiro whale it. From <laughs> we got to Odiro whale it. Okay, hold on. Get it ready, that. everybody. We're going to Odiro whale it from the platform. Ready? 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 Odiro oh, whale! Odiro whale! <laughs> <laughs> the reverse tectolic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in a cut scene here. Yeah, we are. Hey, yeah. Jack friends. Come hang out. Look at us go. Nice. Uh, Talmasaurus coming through. Leading us through this tunnel of hammerheads. Yes. Yes. Look at us go. Up. All the way to the... Ooh, we are in the brown <gasps> kelp forest again. Yum. Send us on our way, fishes. Fishes and reptiles Whoa. and other prehistoric fronds. Whoa, look at the stained glass. That's look how so cool. gorgeous this is. Oh, man, that's an actual kelp cathedral, though. That's sick. That is really, really beautiful. Wow. <gasps> I, want, I want to live here. Whoa. This is ridiculously cool. So when is Disneyland adding this? Yeah, I know, right? I just want to have a little pizza shop there in the little corner there. Just hang out. <laughs> the more. <laughs> the more. <is. laughs> when, when there's an... E wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Because there's such a good pun with... The, those are m 4 <laughs> That the mores were holding. <laughs> When you fill up a pot and it's filled with a lot, that's M4, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty. Look at that oh, beautiful that school. So cool. Oh, it's so pretty. This is rad. Who's that? Straight down. Ooh. What's happening? Big door. Big door. Okay. Ooh, more chain puzzles. Yeah. Gotta figure out the chain puzzles. Quick, Ophthalmosaurus. What do your eyes see? <laughs> Clung. Pleased to be in the moving. Right, whoa. <laughs> oh, I was just checking up on you. <laughs> I see what you did there. Emily. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I was just in like a fugue state or something, Pat, when we were doing the games done, done quick stream with this, but I don't remember this part at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> Oh, and Fiore correcting my Latin plural. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know how to rhyme pot and a lot. And then, yeah. <laughs> when you're holding a jar from times long afar, that's some Fiore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Wandering Falcon. Oh, boy. Down we go. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Otter502 over there on YouTube. Shout out. Shout out, yeah. <laughs> we are we are reading the chat. Yeah, we, we had uh, Luna, Otter501 out there in the wild, but looks like we've got Otter502 currently joining us, saying uh, we're the only aquarium that uh, live streams games, and no Otter1 does this. Uh, we are Otter This World, Emily. Oh, thank From you. From Otter502. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Pat, the only reason no, why I... it didn't have to be done okay <laughs> we could have just all moved on just robo pats having a hard time but yeah you, you know i appreciate yeah. shark friend she's back yeah shark friend is back she's oh. beautiful she's the best yeah 
a, hey, shark friend. a different kind of ghost shark. <gasps> She's. She, she gave you an exoskeleton back. Yeah. Thank oh, you, shark friend. Thanks, shark friend. Whoa, cool. Is that? Whoa, that looks like an urchin. Oh, I kind of did. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> zoomy. Super zoomy. Oh, you got the zooms. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that was an oh dear, oh whale moment. Oh dear, oh whale. Emily, you're so beautiful with your brand new golden attire. My Whoa, golden shark suit. Shark friend. Let's do some TikTok. TikTok, oh dear, oh whale. <laughs> I'm getting much better at that. Oh no, that I run into a wall. <laughs> You've got super speed. We're just playing with our little shark friend. Yeah. TikTok, oh dear, oh whale. <laughs> nice. Oh, Dow. That's the, that's the pronunciation. Oh, oh, oh wait. There we go. Nice. <laughs> well, I mean, wow. You're you're fast now, Emily. I'm zoomy. Well, look out. <laughs> oh, I can't touch you. What? Oh, payback. Geometric payback. Oh no, I missed that one. Oh no. Oh, TikTok. Oh dear, Will. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Not so cool now. Murderous geometry. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the how, water rise. Look how happy our shark friend looks. Yeah. She's like, yeah. <gasps> All of our friends. They're all here. This is so sick, Manta Ray. Wow. Whoa. Shark friend, about to TikTok? No. <laughs> no. Who are jumping up here? These little, <laughs> these little like, butterfly fish are just like wee. Wee. They are literally skipping above the surface. <laughs> oh, someone's wondering. Oh, TikTok. Oh, dear, oh, well. <laughs> TikTok, oh, dear, oh, well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Emily, Zoom. power up. Come on. TikTok. <laughs> nice. Oh, shark friend on the assist. Yeah. Oh. That's right. We got a seamount coming up. We got some water. Yeah. Whoa. And look at the Technicolor kelp. This is the greatest this game. The greatest game of all time here. Easily. This is you operating, right? It's not a cutscene. Yeah, this is me operating right now. Wow. <gasps> I don't think you need the extra sound effects. <laughs> doing them anyway. I appreciate them anyway. It makes it feel more powerful. Can that be uh, some <laughs> DLC for this? <laughs> Just pass. The DLC is me doing. <laughs> 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 more coral reef growth. <laughs> yes. Ooh, the blue yonder. Hey, there's yeah. a basking for a whale shark. Whale friend? shark, whale oh. shark friends. Whale shark friend, whale shark friend. Oh, we're just gonna do this real quick. Tick tock, oh dear, whale. Oh dear, oh whale. Oh dear, oh whale. Oh. Uh, talk about your ram breathing, <laughs> Emily. <laughs> <laughs> so you're swimming and you're breathing. <laughs> oh man. 
I can't see fish. There we go. Get out of here. Oh, Emily, it looks like there's a Tiktaalik one above the water. You see that? You're going to have to Tiktaalik your way up <laughs> over there. Nice. <laughs> Our shark friend is doing it for us. Got this, M. Yeah. There you go. Another one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've got a lot of followers, Emily. It's almost <laughs> like you're a social media professional. There we go. There's another one above the water, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, TikTok it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I almost... Okay, oh. hold on. Hold on. Are your fish friends going to do it for you? <laughs> Let's get this one first. Okay, okay. All right, good call. We got our jelly friends, too. Hello. <laughs> Tick -tick. I have to say, I'm so much more graceful in this game than <laughs> I am in Octodad. Tiktaalik! Oh, oh I thought alive. I was close enough for that one. Ah, oh, beans. Nearly. Let's get it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I missed it. It's over here. It's all good. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't mind us. Just a little please as we're going by. <laughs> I love the very enthusiastic uh, um, butterfly fish for sure, though. Just like, <laughs> it's like we're helping. I'm like, no, I can't see because of you. <laughs> there we go. Just go near a whale. Oh, giant squid buds! Yeah. Whoa! The whole world is filling with water. Uh, as it should be. Oh, we got our vent worms down here chilling. Oh, look at all these buds. So good. All right. Are we like, I hope we're not like nearing the end. I think we are, Pat. Oh, goodness. I think this is... Robo pass. This is why I've kept on going. I'm, I'm pretty Brings sure that this end. is. Yeah, I think we're yeah, pretty close. We're getting close. Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 well, that blew my mind. <laughs> hey, that was so cool. What? Oh. Whales! Masters of their domain! <laughs> that is a deep cut for any of you folks out there that have been in the Monterey Big Frame exhibit hall for a while. <laughs> wow. Whoa, cutscene? No, you're still going. I'm st oh, now it's cutscene. Oh, oh, can't touch us. <laughs> Boom, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the sum of your angles is 180 degrees. But Who's afraid of, of who is... now? Oh. <laughs> Complete turnaround. That's right. That's right, evil eye. Whoa. <laughs> Take that, Pythagoras, exactly. <laughs> That's right. Whoa. What? So the resilience of our oceans is absolutely incredible, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Absolutely It turns incredible. out that the ocean can recover if we give it a chance. What we're seeing right now is the installation of marine protected areas in the world of Abzu, where the animals are allowed to grow large and healthy 
allowing for an incredible abundance and diversity of life to finally thrive again. When we allow all of the organisms to be tied to the machine, it doesn't do so hot, not only for the machine, but also for the animals. And here we can see the recovery of the ocean that we're working on here at the aquarium. Our mission is to inspire conservation of the ocean. And you did it, Emily. We did it. We did it, and Patrick. Served. We did it. We did it, Twitch and YouTube. Yo, everybody, let's get some we GGs in the chat here. What a beautiful game. What an amazing creation. Good job, Giant Squid. Oh, man. I'm sad. That was such a good game. Well, the good wow. news, Pat, is that we can revisit it anytime we want to. We can. Wow. And Emily, that, uh, congratulations. 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 Emily defeats geometry. <laughs> oh, lick the cow happy. Thank you for all oh, the gifted subs. Thank you for the gifted subs. What a, what a wonderful way to celebrate. Wow. Oh, man. What a whirlwind. It Amazing. has been a, an abs, absolute whirlwind. Absolutely. Well, <sighs> so glad to add this episode five to uh, to our streams here of Abzu. Uh, what an amazing time! What like shout out to oh, all of the man. game designers for all yeah. of the incredible animal modeling, your research. Uh, what an incredible, incredibly beautiful game but so full of really cool stories. Yeah. Just just incredible. This was so much fun to play through. Pat, I can't wait for the next games that we're going to play through. Yeah, I know, right? We got to we got to plan that out. Although we'll My have goodness. to yeah, we'll have to talk to Hannah and see uh what record we broke as far as the our speedrun went. Um so this is this was episode five of going through it, and each one has been about two hours long. So two ten hours. hours. Ten hours. <laughs> yeah. So ten hours to get through the game. I feel like that's that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd say I'd say we definitely milked it in some in some places. I feel like we could have been more efficient, maybe. But you know, it was a good journey. <laughs> totally. Kidding. Wait, are we gonna play Journey next? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> um. Thank you, Abzu musicians. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This is our first completed game, Emily, on stream. This Wait. is the first time we've completed a game on stream. Fiori says that I'm not done. Wait. Wait. Is there more? What? Is there more? I just have to get through the credits and there's more? Ooh. Do I become a shark? Do I become uh, Tiktaalik? Uh, oh. By the way, your boy Splendid says we should rename this game from uh, Hate Geometry <laughs> Hate Geometry Endorse Tectolic the game. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree. Oh boy. Well, while we wait for the credits to roll here and and see if there's more. Um Do we have anything that we 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 need a plug, Pat? I mean, classic, um, make sure over there on YouTube, if you are watching this video and you enjoyed uh, even a little bit of it, uh, smash that like button, ring those bells, uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see some more live streams, not only gaming streams, yeah. but also uh, science streams and et cetera. Yeah. Then over there on Twitch, thank you to everybody who has subbed to the channel. Yeah. Thank you for all of thank your you continued so much. support. Um, that goes directly to help out the aquarium while we're, we are still closed um, due to the coronavirus. And I believe the mods are currently putting it. Uh, yeah. And like the cow happy has got the shop up. Yeah. Everybody's putting in different ways you can support the aquarium there. Yeah. Thank you. Amazing. Um, we try are going to continue right now, to, to stream. Huh? Fiore says try swimming right now, apparently. But sorry. Keep oh. going if you're plugging. Oh, I can press. I don't know what I did. But I did that. Whatever that means. Apparently, there's still some puzzles. Okay, but. I solved that puzzle, but I can't, like, move the camera, so I can only click on the things that I see in front of me right now. Well, I don't even see you Do anymore. I get to go in Yume still? Whee! Tick tock, I go dear a whale. I can't tell what you're doing. 
Um, huh. I don't. I don't see you at all. I just see. I don't know where I am. I don't. There I am. Okay, there I am. Oh, there you are. Do I? Over left. Can I? Can I do this? I can still ride my shark yep. friend. Riding the shark friend. Will the shark friend take me somewhere secret? Bless you. Thank you. Hit the plus button. It's a, okay. It says hit. Okay, everyone's come over to the camera. Is what they're saying. Wait, what? Where did I go? Oh no, where am I? Okay, there I am. There you are. Dive down, little friend. <laughs> it is very hard to control my friend here. There we go. Come over here. Shark friend. It won't let me come closer to the camera. Okay. Uh, have you hit the plus button? No. Okay, I hit the plus button first. Okay. 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 Well, well, while we wait, no, it just says new game. Chapters? Aww. Meditate? Hmm. Hmm. Well, hey, everybody, we did it. We did can it. We get, can we get some more uh, <laughs> GGs? We did oh, it. We can meditate in any of the rooms that we went in. Yeah. Cool. We can always That's awesome. go back, revisit. We can always go back to the, the different chapters. Um, We won, everybody. We won. Uh, great job, Emily. Thanks hey. for dealing, everybody, with uh, Robot Pat today. Yeah. We're going to continue doing game streams. So um, I know that we're almost done with Octodad as well. Uh, so we're going to finish up with that where we are never done with Animal Crossing. Um, uh, but we're also trying to figure out how to do some streams um, using uh, uh, some games that we can get on Steam. So we might we might be able to set that up. Um <laughs> The, 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 the lesson that we learned from Wednesday is that the laptop that we were using to do the streams is no longer uh, powerful enough to stream uh, with the new OBS and Windows updates. Uh, it, it, was, it, it just doesn't work anymore. Um, so we're, we're using my own laptop right now, but hopefully that, that might be able to change soon. And, um, and once we, we get a new setup, we might be able to stream some Steam games. Uh, I know that we've been talking about Subnautica, Beyond Blue, um, and some other ones. So um, these these are definitely going to continue. Um, we're really excited about it. So, yay! Uh, but we did it. We finished the game. I don't know what to do. We've never finished a game before. Um, yeah. Uh, Emily, swap to face cam. Show us Trooper. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't have the webcam. No, uh, no, I know we're good. I'm programmed I'm in OBS uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's 525. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. This has been, um, uh, we'll give it a generous two hours of uh, of enjoyment. Sometimes <laughs> in there, maybe not so enjoyable, like when I blew your eardrums out at the beginning there. That's true. Um, but uh, thank you. Oh, I can hear that there's, there's um, a robo, evil robo robot pat. pat there. But anyway, thank you so much, everybody, yeah. for tuning in for this playthrough of Abzu. What a beautiful game. What a wonderful time. Thanks for spending all of these 10 hours with yeah. us. Uh, and definitely look forward to the next game that we can all play together. Yeah. Shout out, Emily. Oh, Great job. Trooper heard you. Trooper heard you through the interweb. She just woke up. So she's That's getting, right. Hi, troops. She's wow. getting tummy rubs. She's getting all the scritches. Oh, oh get all the scritches, troops. What a good game. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for being here for Abzu. We look forward to the next game. We'll see you for some Animal Crossing at some point. And uh, I mean, otherwise, Emily, you want to take us home? Yeah. Thanks so much again, wow. everyone. <laughs> uh, we love you all. And uh, hopefully right now, especially right now, um, the world is is a crazy, crazy place. And, and uh, we just hope that all of you are being kind to yourselves, that you remember to be kind to each other. And... We will see you again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Wow. Wow.